Good morning, everybody. Keith here. <clears throat> Hoping everybody's having a good day, enjoying life, living life, loving life. Coming on this morning, been up all night. Um, as you see my recent videos, We've got an issue with PayPal, and in one of the comments to the uh, one of those videos, somebody asked me why I was so mad and angry at these people and yelling, they're just doing their job, and it's because I've had continuous conversations or communications, attempts at communication with them to, tr to try to resolve certain situations, and it's come, it, it just, it, it just, keeps being a circle of runaround and so I wanted to explain this and uh, express it a little bit further because this is the notification that I got on my account in regards to PayPal notifying IRS that I was supposedly receiving income for supposedly selling goods and services and there's no such record and so they said the name and tax id number associated with your paypal account doesn't match irs records confirm your taxpayer info by updating your tax id well the reason it doesn't match is because irs doesn't have any records of the keith orland little faith-based union and by PayPal purporting that the, the social security number used to establish this account as a beneficiary, PayPal cannot place a public liability on that account. And so what they're trying to do is say that the Keith Orland Little Faith-Based Union has a liability, but there's no record of Keith Orland Little Faith-Based Union. Okay. The only record of Keith Orland Little Faith-Based Union is this one right here attached to the Social Security account, which is the connected account used to open this one. Just because it's a connected account doesn't mean they get to place a public liability on an account of one that didn't intend or expect to take upon a public liability. Now also notice it says add your home phone number because they don't have a phone number. It says add your bank account because there is no bank account. Now they've got my payments and stuff, but then they turned around and sent me that email um, stating that... Uh, I needed to update my tax ID. That was the first one. So I called them. I got on the phone and called them to try to take care of it without having all the circle of run around it again, trying to resolve the tax issue, knowing that that would again take months. So I called them up and they gave me the run around on the phone when all I wanted was a direct email address so I could have a lines of communications with one individual to come to a resolution instead of having to deal with 19 different people circling around saying, well, I'm just doing my job. I'm just doing my job. Okay. So I established a record by my observances. Our brother Derek talks about this. Observe, record, report. Okay. So I established a record by my observances of my interactions with PayPal. And I'm doing my best, my best to bring the resolution myself. And no one is willing to accept that. They insist that I must be enrolled in their tax category. And that is false. To say that I cannot use PayPal services without being subject to a taxation would be failure to provide public accommodation of those parties who are non-taxable. Private foundations.
See, a public accommodation makes accommodation both to public entities and private. And for PayPal to insist that I have to take upon a public liability or pose a record that I did take upon a public liability or that public liability can be placed on me or that Social Security account or the Keith Orland Little Faith-Based Union is false. They have no authority to place liability, particularly a tax liability, which can only come from the IRS. And that can only be had by volunteering to file as an organization. An organization that has a board of directors that can then hire an attorney so that if something goes wrong in these contracts, they can file suits against each other in those courts. The Keith Orland Little Faith-Based Union is not suable and cannot sue in those courts because it is not established and organized. It is still developing. And everybody has a right to develop. We aren't born fully instituted and incorporated as the record would pose. So, there are certain elements that need to take place along the line, and those elements have not, having not occurred, PayPal can't just make them appear. Okay? So let's... So let's take a look at my recent post on Facebook. And this is about routing, like I've been talking about in my past uh, few videos. And this is the post. No comments, please just pay attention. Go ahead and take a peek. Emails being first uh, sent first thing. As soon as I get done with this video, I believe I'll be sending the notices. And it says, WordWise Warrior, International Notice to PayPal, a trustee. And when you click on it, it takes you to my site. And what I've done is I've added a few pages to my site where I'm free to post my opinion, my observations that I record. And so we see, we go down, and you guys can read this. Just go to my post below this video. And see the public notice, <coughs> the two e the email notices that I sent to, to PayPal, the email mail that I sent to PayPal included a, a copy of the email I sent to the IRS at the bottom, and then when you click on the email to IRS, the email to IRS is the email to IRS with a copy of the email to PayPal on the bottom of it. So each of them got an email for themselves and a copy of the email that I sent to the other party. Now I've got an international notice on my site posting that communi those communications. Along with copies of the other communications and my summary as my declaration. I declare in this summarized set of facts and at the end of them I, I declare this faith-based union is in the development stages by Keith himself without being organized as of yet. So with all of this information up here summarizing certain things there's a declaratory statement. The next one starts out with another declaratory statement. This is particularly harmful when such actions bring in other parties with no interest as of the time. And then they too, as additional third parties, base their actions off of those first false allegations that are not from the source.
the Keith Orland Little Faith-Based Union is evidenced and has international recognition as a private foundation and which is known and stated as a presumption by the IRS already as previously stated in a response by email to both PayPal and IRS. So when you take a look at those two emails that I sent to IRS and PayPal, you will see the codes in there where I mentioned the private foundation being recognized by the IRS already. And then it goes on and states the next email received Thursday, March, and it says update your tax in or tell this is the first email that I received telling me to update the tax information, and that's when I called them. When I got done calling them and couldn't get any results, I mailed the, I wrote up the notices and sent the notices. That was on March 3rd. I sent the notices on March 4th, I believe. And then I got an email and the following email was, was sent to me. But we note here that the source is quite confusing as it is as follows. Folks, I've never seen an email like that. And this was in regards to account locked. So now they locked my account and they sent me a notice of the locked account. And this is the locked ID number and they sent it from this email address. That was at a certain time, 7.39 p.m. Just six hours later, at 1.40 a.m., they sent me another one, action required with a case number. That's a case number. They've developed a case on it. Whose case? Action required. Get the name of this email address, people. The name of regret, K-U dot X-Y-Z. The first is just a bunch of mumbo jumbo as far as I can read, but then it says clearly at the name of regret dot or regret K-U dot X-Y-Z. And it goes on, I, I go on to state, note, this address as a postal route would imply possible retaliation and intimidation and possibly violation of the Constitution of the Universal Postal Union and regulations set forth by the International Bank of Settlements. I don't play people. Knowing the information is the first thing. Knowing how to put it together is the second thing. Knowing how to prove your remedy is the third thing. And knowing who to give notice to is the fourth thing. First one I gave notice to was my father with chart in heaven. I always pray on it first. That's my first notice. As it goes through a process of notices, you'll see this. This is a directive. This is my mission. Be sure to read that. We hereby restate remedy, a redress of the wrong address of source information. And these are my forwards. Internet device user private laptop FCC number. It came through this laptop. And there's an agreement with this laptop. This address. Through this communication number. 
We need to get involved with the, with the Special Inspector General for the Troubled Asset Relief Program. There's the site there. Treasury Inspector General for Tax Administration, J. Russell George. Office of Foreign Asset Control Sanctions Program and Information. Specially Designated Nationals and Blocked Persons List. Because if PayPal doesn't have a blocked person by the Keith Orland Little Faith Based Union or Keith Orland Little or Keith Little or any derivative thereof on the blocked persons list, then they have no authority to do so. And this is human readable lists and not bullshit email address codes. And then it's got its address. And then, of course, Department of Defense General Counsel, that's Caroline Cross. And you'll see this is the Pentagon list. Okay. Internal Revenue Service Commissioner Charles Reddick, PayPal Chief Financial Officer John Rainey, they're both going to get this notice, and then all these other people are going to get this notice. Homeland Security, particularly redress program for misdescription causing harm and detriment to life, Alejandra Mayor Orcas at uh, headquarters of De Department of uh, uh, Human Services. Or uh, Department of Homeland Security, I'm sorry, Department of Homeland Security. Dr. Kilolo Kijakazi, Security, Social Security Commissioner, FBI Internet Crime Complaint Center. I'm going to show you guys something else too. I do a lot of copy paste. And so, service at PayPal, that was the original. Notice it came from a good email address, service, very plain writing, action needed. This was the first one in which I turned around and called them. And like I said, I, I like to do copy and paste. So I can take and go like this. I can copy paste. I can go down here. I can open a notepad and I can put it in my notepad. And it comes out in a particular script. Okay. Now we're going to go back to the inbox to the one that says account locked with the bullshit address. We're going to copy paste just the top part before the PayPal button. So there shouldn't be anything else in there. So we're going to copy it. We're going to put it in Notepad. Okay, maybe that's not the one. Maybe it's the next one. This one here is the uh, one that was six hours later telling me action needs to be, action is required with a case number. And again, we take it to notepad and copy paste. And when you, when you copy paste it in a notepad, notepad should generally uh, uh, generate directly into whatever style you've got in there. Notice how all of a sudden it changed the style. And it put in a code that's not in there when the copy paste. See, there's code within the script in that email. That's non human readable. Okay. You guys saw me copy paste it here. This video is evidence.
So anyway, I hope you guys paid attention and realize everything you observe, if you observe it and record it appropriately, you can eventually find a way to construct it to report it so it's comprehended. And what these people are doing is blatant, violent, and violative. They're cutting off sources that are that that's part of my livelihood because they want to some they want to play some fucking games. They want to play some fucking games. The name of regret. The name of regret ku dot x y z. And it went through a dot com site who is a email provider, Yahoo. So now they've involved Yahoo as well. I don't know if Yahoo would like this too much. You know what I mean? And if people watch this, and I'm, I, I can't believe there's only three viewers, <coughs> and this is probably one of the more important videos uh, I could put out there anyway, and it's probably not going to get much reviews, and it's a shame because it's knowledge that's pertinent to being able to defeat these, pup, these, these people for what they are. I mean, who in their right mind is going to sit there and believe they can start harassing me? The name of regret, huh? So think about it. And remember, folks, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. I'm going to get my uh, emails sent out and go get me some sleep, and I'll talk to everybody later.